Hi everyone, welcome to Pro Visual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using Pro Visual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm gonna show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset, not only for you, but also for business owners. So, say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed basketball team design, which includes a logo, number, and color palettes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high quality 3D mockups and it gets updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mock-up of basketball jersey. I think this one is what we need. Great, let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mock-up, each with different designs, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of Pro Visual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at this toolbar at the bottom. Okay, let's continue. This is the default setup of our Jersey 3D mockup. Let's zoom it in. Just look at all these details on the fabric and seams. Looks unbelievable and hyper-realistic. Let's add the design elements to the front part of the jersey. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. Let's add the first design element. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in ProVisual. Now let's add the player's number to the back side of the jersey. To do that, press the Add Image button. We will place our design based on the UV map. Great. Let's save our design. Now let's add the team logo to the jersey. Clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Here we also align our design with the UV map and the 3D model preview on the left. Now let's turn the 3D model and add the design to the back side of the jersey. Now let's add the NBA logo You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better and place your design more accurately.
Excellent. Saving the design. Now I'll show you how you can easily change the color of the fabric of this basketball jersey. On the design panel, select the background layer. Let's make it active. Now we need to change the color. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Nice. The color goes well with our design. Next, we will apply this color to the inner side. Now let's move on to the collar and apply the shade what will look good next to our design. Let's make it active. We will use the same color for the collar stand. Now let's work with the seams. Let's select the color for them. Selecting outer seams, inner seams, and label seams at the scene element panel. Now, adding the color. Looks good. The next step is to change the label color. and add some bright color to the small label. Only need to color the collar seams. Let's use the color of the jersey. The client will be happy. The design looks gorgeous. Amazing result. Okay, let's continue. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in Pro Visual. We can choose a solid fill as the background. Or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. You save your clients money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating basketball jersey design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.